Uh, Conor McGrandall's alongside me. Conor probably deserved a point from that game, didn't you? Yeah, it was kind of a game of two halves. They had a really good first half. They played really well, pressed us. But I think the management made some the, the right changes at half time and it kind of changed the game in our favour. Obviously, we needed a goal, so we stuck more emphasis in, in attacking. And I think with the chances that we created in the second half, we, we probably should have nicked a point. First half, there was kind of a bank of five and then a bank of four and just the one up front. It's quite defensive, wasn't it? I don't know whether the tactic was to try and go in at half time at nil nil and then go and nick it. No, the plan's always to to win the game and, and, and score goals. Um, I'm guessing the manager thought this was the best the best way to, to try and beat Ipswich and uh, I think they played real well to be fair in the first half so we needed to change something and uh, at what second half we just never managed to get the goal. Tactically, is that quite hard as players to try and get to grips with a new kind of system? No, it, it, it kind of sets, manager sets you up for being able to play different system I think he likes players that can can do that he's brought loads of players in that can do that so I don't think anyone is surprised or or doesn't know what they're doing because he goes into so much detail and, and when you're going to pitch you definitely know what you're doing in the second half there was certainly an improvement and you you know just couldn't get that ball in the back of the net yeah they've given me a few good saves they defended well um oh, so we tried we tried they just couldn't we just couldn't get it Bodes well because they look like they're going to be pushing for automatic promotion this season, doesn't it? Yeah, obviously they're, they're unbeaten so far in the league. Um, not conceded many goals and we pushed them hard. I think they'll probably be coming off thinking we're just being a, a good team there. It was a battle in midfield. You must have been pleased with your performance. Yeah, there was ups and downs to it, obviously. I gave away a few silly things that I shouldn't have. should have been a bit better. And Patchy's obviously done a, f- a few decent things, but obviously the performance, the individual performance, doesn't really mean anything when you don't get the three points. The best chance probably fell to Houghton when you kind of got the ball at the far post and it was a fairly tight angle, but he just couldn't quite get it beyond the goalie. Yeah, really good save to be fair. I think he made the goalie made a good save with his legs from me for a corner, so he made a few good saves. Um, so credit credit him, credit to, to them for keeping the clean sheet. Southender up next, the side who have struggled this season. You're back here on Saturday, a good opportunity to collect another three points. Yeah, we need to try and put this behind us. Um, it's another home game which is really good we're, we're strong at home we, we like playing here so even though they've not got the results they wanted they are a good team um, so we, we can't take anything lightly and we'll need to be on our game to get anything Good stuff Connor. thank you very much Connor Thank you. Randall's live on